Stockton gives them a fresh 24 with the rebound. Now, Scottie Pippen is going to guard Foster and roam around a lot. You see him right now on Stockton. That's only because they got mismatched on the rebound. Malone's first shot. Doesn't get the roll. Foster trying to follow. Knocked away cleanly. Out of bounds to Utah. His first shot. Rolls around and doesn't drop. Hornacek has it. Ahead to Malone. To the hoop. And Utah claims the lead. For a man so big and strong, Malone runs the floor so well, even as he approaches age 35. Jordan cans the turnaround over Hornacek. Now that time they didn't come double-team Jordan in the low post. He took his time and was able to elevate over Hornacek. Michael's first basket of this year's NBA Finals. Passing lane, cuts in front of Hornacek. Now it's one on two, but Scotty takes it to the hole himself for the emphatic slam. Here comes Eisley. Hornacek looked for Malone, threw it over his head, and Longley takes it. Pippen stutter step into the lane, lays it up and in. A year ago in the finals, Michael averaged more than 30. Pippen 20 against the Jazz. No other bull averaged more than eight. Bob, the early rust you talked about, though, poor shooting right now by Utah, but more importantly, they're turning the ball over. That's very uncharacteristic of the Jazz. Malone can't get the lead back, but they'll get another chance. You see, that's what the layoff will do to you, Doug. You can't practice emotion and intensity, and what emotion and intensity is, it makes you run a little faster, jump a little higher, and shoot it a little harder. Malone from Isley, into the lane, and Utah into the lead, but no, it's taken away on the offensive foul. See, what makes Chicago so difficult defensively is that they can move and shut down the driving lanes. They're so quick, you see, Malone has the penetration, but Pippen is there to take the charge. And when you miss a shot, Doug, Jordan can advance the ball, Pippen can advance it, they all can advance the ball for fast break opportunities. Michael, turn around, sandwiched by two defenders, count the basket, plus the foul. Scotty Pippen on the beautiful drive. Remember now, Brian Russell picked up a foul early, so he's got to be very careful. Scotty with a beautiful change of pace, that long swooping stride of his, and a finger on. Then Michael Jordan. I'm a little surprised here that Isley doesn't come down and double team. He reaches in, little touch foul, three point play. He wanted to put Rodman in, and Dennis hadn't made it back from the locker room to the bench. That's why Simpkins is in. It's one thing to be idiosyncratic. It's another thing to be idiotic. Kukoc, got it. See, where most teams post their big men, Chicago posts their guard. Ron Harper posted up against Howard Isley. You had to come double team, and Kukoc knocked that wide open J down. Out of bounds to the Jazz. Phil Jackson was quoted yesterday as saying, you know, there's a bit too much drama with Rodman not on the bench, and it looks like he's not part of the team, and I've got to put a stop to that. Well, they didn't put a stop to it in the first quarter here. Although Dennis is sporting a striking new hairstyle for the finals. Russell's jumper from the head of the key is way off. <laughs> Randy Brown. Out to Pippen. In the lane for Simpkins, knocked away and stolen. It's a four-on-one break. Isley to Anderson. Utah by four. Rodman's pass to a cutting Bushler was a good feed, but they couldn't finish it. Russell on the run. And suddenly it's a wide open game with the Jazz up by half a dozen. Around Bushler, little up and under move, and the Jazz in front by eight. Listen to this crowd at the Delta Center. 
Jordan quiets it just a bit. Stockton into the lane on Kerr. Off balance and got it. Six for Stockton. The chant is beat the Bulls, beat the Bulls. But first, you have to stop Michael Jordan. Isaiah, that's what you talked about at the top of the game. They've got Isley and Stockton in the game together. Isley trying to play Michael, just way too big in the post. Doug, Chicago is getting any type of shot they want. They've missed at least five layups in this first half and wide open jump shots. Nine points now for Jordan, who's guarding Isley. Isley spins around him and can Jumper. from the floor in game seven against the Pacers but of course he contributes in so many other ways Bob I've never seen Chicago miss so many wide open and easy layups but how about that one as Jordan whirls through the Western weapon. Conference in scoring seven times so if they split it like by conferences like they do by leagues in baseball he'd be a seven time scoring champion Jordan quick catch and shoot 15 for Michael. But the Jazz will live with that because he's not getting to the free throw line. They're going to hope that maybe if he shoots under 50%, they'll limit the offensive rebounds with no double team, and the end result will be a good one for the Jazz. Good pass inside from Hornacek to Malone. Great high-low action there, and Rodman was just completely sealed behind Malone. Yeah, Malone is too big for Rodman. He caught him that time on his back, but Chicago will keep going inside with their big guards. Kerr from Scotty. When he gets a look like that, he won't often miss. Better communication, though. They run that little split at the top. Malone stepped over, and Michael got screened on Stockton. Nobody helped out. Hornacek with Michael on him. Here's Malone. Back to Hornacek. Into the lane. Off-balance shot. Hits the front rim and spills away. You can just see Hornacek has no legs in his shot at all. Single coverage. And that's what happens. Same spot, same dance, same music. 17 points and a half, 12 of them in this quarter. And Utah asked for time. And a look at their numbers. Stockton has a good look and puts the jumper down. See, they come out of that timeout, they run screen roll. They know that Rodman is not going to help off of Malone. So he set that sideline screen once again, and Stockton is an excellent shooter. Kerr to Michael as they go to the man with the hot hand. Again, single coverage by Anderson. Hornacek comes over. Michael with the up and under. Count it, and he'll come to the line with a chance to reach 20 points in the first half. Now, that's how smart Michael Jordan is. He'll get it on a low post, wait. He knows they're going to come with the double team. Okay, this time, I'm going to fake it to the baseline, and I'm going to step through and split it. I'm not going to give you the same offensive look every time. I'm going to give you something different. But, Isaiah, you teach when you come down to a double team. That defender has to come and touch the other defender, so you can't step through there. You can't give him any kind of pathway to get to the basket. You must make him spin away and shoot the shot. Kevin McHale was the master of that. I understand you teach that, Doug, but when you're coming down to double Michael Jordan, do you know how much fear is in your heart? <laughs> A three-point play, 20 points, and get this. This is the 30th finals game in which Michael Jordan has played. He has never been held under 20 points, and he's got 20 in the first half tonight. Stockton on the move and banks it home. 